Hey guys, my name is Hope from Hopefully Created and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be learning how to do a Milky Way tumbler using Crystallac Bright Tone products. For today's Milky Way tutorial, I'm going to be using a 20 ounce traditional from Maker Flow Crafts. I'll leave a link down below where you can purchase stainless steel tumblers for a great price. The first and probably most important step is to prep your tumbler. All stainless steel tumblers come with a factory coating. It's important to sand that factory coating off so that your products adhere correctly. I have used a 400 grit sanding pad to sand my tumbler. After sanding and washing off your tumbler, you're ready to prime. I'm going to be using the Universal White from the Crystallac company. As you're painting, you're going to want to do a nice and even coat. I find using a flat brush or a blush brush works best. You're just going to want to paint an even coat all around the tumbler and make sure that you don't have any streaks, drips, or pooling. Once you've done a nice and even coat, you're going to set it aside and let it dry for two hours. Once it's dry, you're going to go in with a second coat. So here's my tumbler after the second coat of Universal White. As you can see it's a nice and even coat and now it's time to glitter. To glitter my cup I'm going to be using the Crystallite glitter glue as my adhesive. So it's pretty much the same concept as the Universal White. You're going to want to do a nice and even coat all around the cup. I find that a flat brush or a blush brush really works best. The only thing with glitter glue is that it does dry fast so you're going to want to work quickly. Okay, so now it's finally time to glitter. So you're going to want to go in with your first color. I'm going to be going in with this hot pink and I'm going to put my glitter in a swirl motion. The thickness of your swirls is totally up to you. For this Milky Way, I'm going to be doing five swirls around the whole cup. So I'll be trying to make them equal in size as best as I can. Don't worry if your glitter is not perfect on the first coat because we are going to be doing a second coat. This coat is more for like a base slash a map of where your glitter is going to go. Because the glitter glue does dry fast, by the time you get to your last swirl, you probably won't have perfect coverage. But like I said, that's totally okay because when you go in with your second coat, that'll fix it. Just a little tip, I do put paper under my tumbler so that it catches the glitter so I can save the glitter that falls and I don't cross contaminate my glitters. So now I'm going to be going in with my second swirl. I'm using an opal white and I'm just going to line it up next to my pink swirl. For the next swirl I am going to be using the same opal white on the other side of the pink. Next, I'll be going in with a different shade of hot pink and doing the same swirl motion.
Okay, so here's our tumbler with the first coat of glitter. It's not perfect, but like I said, when we go in with the second coat, it's definitely going to fix that. You're going to want to let your tumbler dry for two hours and then brush off the excess glitter. Next, you're ready for your second coat. You're going to do an even coat of glitter glue all around the tumbler and then apply your glitters in the same order. Okay, so here's our tumbler with our second coat of glitter. As you can see, the coverage is way better. We're going to let it dry for two hours, and then I sprayed my tumbler with E6000. The purpose of the E6000 spray is to keep your glitter in place. So I sprayed all around the tumbler, let it dry for another two hours. That way, when I start going in with my coats of bright tone, my glitter does not mix. Next, we're ready to start adding our top coat. The top coat I'll be using is Bright Tone from the Crystallac Company. You're going to want to do a very thin coat, but enough to coat your tumbler entirely. The trick to Bright Tone is very thin coats about the thickness of two sheets of paper. After each coat of Bright Tone, you do have to let it dry for four hours. It's dry to the touch in one hour, and then it needs an additional three hours to fully dry before you can recoat. For this specific tumbler, I did about five coats of bright tone before I did my first sand. I felt like five coats was just enough to cover the full glitter. So here's my tumbler after I did the first sand. As you can see, it's a lot smoother. You will feel a huge difference after you do your first sand. You'll then go in with another thin coat of bright tone. You're then going to want to continue to add more layers of bright tone every four hours. You can sand every four layers. I didn't need to sand after my first sand. After five more coats of bright tone, my cup was completely smooth. Next, we're going to be adding our Milky Way lines. I'm using a hot pink mica powder and the Crystallac pigments in number one. I've mixed them in a medicine cup, each with a little bit of bright tone. Once your cup is completely smooth, you're going to want to go in with a thicker than normal layer of Bright Tone. We're going to do a thicker layer because Bright Tone does also dry fast, so you want to allow yourself enough working time. Once you've added a thick enough layer of Bright Tone, you're going to start with your Milky Way lines. I'm starting with the white and I'm just going to place them throughout my tumbler. There is no exact way to place them, you just kind of put them and you can start spreading them with your finger however you'd like them to go. 
I recommend starting with just a couple swirls so that you can move them around and see how you like them. You can and always add more. Um, you can see in some spots where I felt like it was heavily concentrated. I just kind of took a clean finger and wiped it off. You really have a lot of freedom to kind of just move the lines wherever you'd like them to go. So as I move the swirls around, I'm just going to go in, add a couple more swirls until I like how it looks and then I'll start going in with my pink swirls. So I like how the white looks, so now I'm going to start going in with my pink swirls. And I'm going to do the same thing as I was doing with the white. Just spread it around my tumbler, start with a couple, spread them around the cup and see how you like it. Move them with your finger and then add pink as you'd like. Okay, so now I'm ha pretty happy with how my swirls came out. So I'm going to be adding some stars to my Milky Way. It's just my personal touch. I really think that stars really bring it all together. So I'm just going to sprinkle this mix. It has stars and chunky glitter. It's all silver holographic. And I just sprinkle it throughout the cup. I really think that it gives it a cute little finish. And it just kind of like brings it all together. Plus, Milky Ways have stars, don't they? <laughs> but it's all totally optional. Up to you. Do what you'd like. Um, once you finish, then you're just going to let this dry. I do let it dry for more than four hours because I did a thicker than normal coat. So I let it dry for about six to eight hours or you could just leave it overnight. So here's what our Milky Way looks like. I think it came out so beautiful. So you're going to let it dry and then you're going to want to continue to go in with more coats of Bright Tone. Sand as needed until it's completely smooth. Milky Ways are truly my favorite just because they never come out the same and it just makes them special you know they're just so unique so i did about three more coats of bright tone i did a light sand and then i added an additional two coats and here's our final product i absolutely love it if you have any questions leave them in the comments i'll be happy to help i'll be putting all the items i use in the description box thank you for watching please don't forget to like comment and subscribe see you next time